Oh man. That music, that music to me is just too relaxing. Do you guys think it's too relaxing? You gotta let me know because to me, it's just, mm, just too relaxing. So yes, I just did what Pacha did because like on Emperor's New Groove, when the sun hits the ridge just right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, okay. So hey guys, what is up? This is JBirdBlue117, and welcome back to another single gameplay on the computer. So yes, I'm bringing back another single gameplay, and you can tell by the menu screen that you, you can tell what I'm going to be playing for you guys. So yes, I'm going to be playing a game called Disassembly 3D Ultimate Stereoopic Destruction. <laughs> so yes, ultimate stereoscopic destruction. So yes, this game is where you have various objects and you take them take them apart. Yeah, and once you take them up, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, don't know what that was. Okay, so. What I was saying is, yeah, this game is where you get various things, you take them apart, and once you take them apart, you get weapons. Yes, you get bombs, you get grenades, you get guns. Basically, you get, like, you can take the same thing you took apart, but in an explosive way. Mm-hmm, it's that. It's that crazy. So yes, I remember playing this game on my iPhone 3GS. Yes, I still have my iPhone 3GS, but it's like basically it's not really active and I don't have it with me. But yes, I remember playing Disassembly 3D on my iPhone and it was fun. So surprising enough, I found it on the PC and I downloaded it and now I'm going to make a single gameplay for you guys. I might make more because there's six free objects to take apart to begin with because to get more things to take apart you have to pay for it. Yeah, that's quite upsetting. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this game um basically um, there's a YouTuber out there that his name is Gray Still Plays. If you want to check out his channel, the eye will appear right now. Click that eye and you'll see his channel and you can check him out and all that. So yes, he, he played Disassembly 2 and yeah, so he got me into playing, um, Universe Sandbox 2. And now he got me into to play Disassembly 3D. Yeah, so full on credit goes to Gray Still Plays. Okay, so should we get started? I think so too. Okay, so let's start. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Just smash it. Just be like Wreck-It Ralph and go, I'm gonna wreck it like that do that to the like button because if you can do that i'll make more single gameplays on disassembly 3d so yes i i don't know what came up but i stopped playing um universe sandbox 2 i know that i made like three gameplays with commentary so i should bring that back should i you gotta let me know in the comments because yeah I should bring back Universe Sandbox 2. But in the meantime, let's play Disassembly 3D. So if you, there's any favorite or funny parts that you guys may see in this video, put them in the comments. And please do subscribe if you're new to my channel. Okay, so before we do, yeah, here's how to play. I know how to play. 
so yeah there's the weapons yeah it was it was very hard when I got the weapons like when I finished um taking apart like yeah it was the lamp I took apart the lamp and I got the weapons I'm like how do I use these I don't know but I didn't see the help till right now not not right now actually it was like it was like when I was like having the weapons and I was like asking myself how do I shoot how do I set these up but this will help me okay so yes and here's the information so yes this game and yeah so this game was made by Core Chin Hyong. I think that's how you say his name. But yeah, he like he did the design and development of this game. It's like um Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Yeah, this game. This game was made like all by Chris Sawyer. This game is made by Core Chin Hyung. So, yeah, that, it's so crazy when you're the only one making a game and it's popular right off the bat. It's just insane. Okay, so yes. And I, like, I have um, Demolition 3D also. So I might do single gameplays on that one because yeah basically you don't take apart things you use weapons to destroy them that's what the dis demolition 3d game is and i don't know what this one is like the one with the hand and the wrench i i don't know what that one is but yeah and there's all the credits and okay let's play Sorry about this guys. Okay, so as you can see, here's item pack one. I already disassembled the side table, the lamp, the speaker, and the antique car. So yeah, I think for this single gameplay, I should take apart two things. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yeah, I can do three single gameplays if you guys want me to do more. But yeah, I can do like three single gameplays on this game by doing two um, items for this game. Yeah, because for the for like for this one, I could do the side table and the lamp. For the next one, I can do the speaker and the pocket knife. And the last one, I can do the microscope and the antique car. I guess that's fair enough, yeah. But here's the packs that you have to buy, though. Look at all of these items. They're more cool. Like a robot, safe, a bicycle, chair, water heater, a house, uh, a hard disk, blender, coffee machine. <laughs> yeah, and speaking about hard disk, I see mine, yeah, I see mine right there, there's my hard disk, hello, you guys can't see it, but yeah, my, my, um, monitor right here is see-through, so you can see all of my circuit, like, circuitry, or something like that. Okay, um, enough of me doing that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's like a sink, a Lego van, Lego, never too old for Lego, <laughs> and a Hellfire missile. That's a screwdriver? Oh, it's the automatic one. Okay, okay. I was like confused about that. A rice cooker. The, I remember doing the Titanic on my iPhone 3GS. It was crazy <laughs> because I remember taking like the funnels like these pillars right here I remember taking one off and then like slamming it into the Titanic to just make parts fly from it 
But yeah, there's so many. Like a phone, jigsaw, and a car, toaster, coffee grinder, airplane. You can do an airplane. <laughs> that's like a Boeing um, 747. Yeah, that's like a... That is like a Boeing 747, to be honest. Okay, a flashlight, elevator, a train. I like trains. <laughs> a tablet, DVD player, skyscraper. And those are the Twin Towers. Okay, well, that's crazy. Yeah, there's more. Like, I remember these from my iPhone 3GS, but there's actually more that I didn't like find out yet because this game is updating so yeah you can disassemble a toilet <laughs> need that toilet paper though <laughs> right guys right okay a telescope a tank a tank okay oh i remember doing the space station the space station disassemble like yeah, when you disassemble the space station, you got to realize that there's zero gravity in space. So when you take a piece off, and if there's parts still attached to that part, it's gonna go, wee, bye bye. So make sure when you disassemble the space station that you take off the piece and just gently take it off. Don't fling it because then it will go we bye time to restart this so yeah don't 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 do what i just said so yeah and here's yeah these are new i i didn't see like on the 3gs iphone i i didn't see the drone yet and like yeah these are new ones like ones right here yeah so you can do a drone, a hoverboard, and a helicopter. Control. <laughs> Not enough space. So it's the control. Er. <laughs> but that's an Xbox 360 controller. I can see it. Okay, and a TV, a submarine. Okay, now this is new. I didn't know that there was a fidget spinner. And speaking of about fidget spinners... <laughs> okay. So yeah, and there's a fidget spinner, claw machine, F1 car, toothbrush, microwave, and a fighter jet. And this is a new one, the sandbox mode, which I might do that on the second single gameplay for like a little break from disassembling parts and you know what? Disassembling things, not parts. What am I talking about? But yeah, this is like a fun mode actually. And yeah, 33% off. <laughs> well, I won't be able to get them. Nope. All right, let's start. Okay, this has been long enough. So let's start gaming. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the side table. So yes, the check marks are the ones that I've done already. So yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Wow, it's loading quick. Okay, here we go. So here's our side table. And just looking at the awesome graphics and like, it's just so smooth. So smooth. And why is this timer, why is the timer going already? Excuse me, I haven't even done anything. Why are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Restart. Yes, you're not doing anything now. Okay, so why? What happened? What made the timer go? Beats me, I guess. But here's our side table. But yeah, just looking at all of these like awesome texturing and all that, it's just unbelievable. It's just crazy. Okay, let's start disassembling this side table now. Okay, so yes, I have the guns unlocked, as you can see. 
I'm not gonna use them. You know why? Because this is disassembly. I need to disassemble it for you guys before I start shooting at it and making it go quicker. Okay, so as you can see on the like yeah, on the top right, sorry. Yes, on the top right there is the score, how many parts there are and there's one bonus part. Oh, huh, okay. So let's let's start by grabbing the table and going <gasps> There we go. Okay, and we need to take that handle off. Go away. When did I have to use a screwdriver to take that off? There, there's no screws. Look at it. Look at it, guys. Do you see any screws on this? Why did I have to use a screwdriver to take that off? See, these are like screws. Yeah, okay, but that's one, that's one thick screw, and here's another one, go away. Do I have to screw it twice to take it off? What was that? Okay, get this off now, there we go. Now get the other side. Oh, I don't want to bring that, don't want to bring that up yet. I still have to disassemble it. Okay, now I can take... Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, why am I picking up the whole thing? Get off. Thank you. And you. Uh, uh, come here. Uh, ow. There's like... Okay, get over here. No. Uh, uh. Good. That's good. I didn't crack the window. It's all good. Just get off! Mm. Why won't you get off? What about this piece? That, this piece gets off and... Oops! Wait, can I throw pieces out the window? I'm wondering. Uh, I don't think so because I think there's an invisible, like, wall there so pieces don't just fall down and disappear because pieces do that like they have like a little glitch and then fall through the floor and once a piece falls through the floor they won't come back or not the floor i mean like basically fall like down here because there's nothing down there so yeah i can't bring this piece like to fall down it it can't okay now can you come off why can't you come off what about this piece oh. wow you go away I don't want to I don't want to see you so go away whoops <laughs> okay now take this drawer and go there we go Okay, get the back off, there, now the bottom can come off, there we go, now we have to do this to get the sides off, go away screws, stop screwing around, mm. and mm. there we go, now get the other side, okay, can you, okay, you can just come off, okay, I thought you had to screw this off to get that off but doesn't look like it i have i have to use the screwdriver lots of times to get this off that's weird now go away okay now i know that the handle is still on here so get this off mm. bullseye <laughs> no you you go away Thank you. Okay, now here comes the fun part. We have to go inside and take this off. So there we go. Come on. Stupid screws. Stop screwing around, would you? There we go. And 
get this screw. Oh, come on. There we go. And then take this off. And ready? Just click and then. <laughs> that is just weird. Okay. Ow. So bad when you had to drag and it drags your camera instead. Okay, there we go. I wonder where the bonus piece is. I don't know. Okay, you get off. Stop screwing around. There we go. Okay, now what's next? Oh, these pieces, yeah. What was that? It just like leaned over. What was that? Okay, you go away. And you go away. And you go away. And you go away. There we go. Alrighty. Now, can I take off the top? Yep, I can do that. Nice. Woohoo! I disassembled a side table with a score of 12,826. That's not bad. It's not like my high score. But where's that bonus piece? Like, where did. Where can it be? I think we will never know. Well, now comes the fun part. We will restart and say to the side table to say your prayers. Oh, that's right. Tables don't, tables don't pray. Oh, that huh? I disassembled it by just shooting one shotgun shell at it <laughs> what? that's insane oh okay um go back we have to do it in more ways we can't just have a shotgun oh I got an idea you want bombs you want bombs? Well, here. I'll just put this in here for you. Uh. <laughs> oh. I didn't even do anything. And I got the bonus part as well. What? What is the bonus part? I, I don't understand. But... <laughs> the bomb just got sandwiched and then exploded. Like, like, did it have the fuse? Because, I think so, actually. Yeah. But normally, you press this button right here to explode the bomb. So, yeah. Maybe the bomb just got sandwiched and then blew up. That's what I'm thinking. But something... Yeah, I'm thinking about the bomb exploded when it got sandwiched. Or did the bomb explode because of the fuse? I don't know. Okay, let's restart now. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Well, let's do it to the bottom drawer this time. Here you go. I'll just place this in here for you. There you go. So it was the fuse. Okay. So I don't have to press the button for it. Okay. Good to know. Good to know for next time. Good to know. And I keep on quitting to the menu. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. But, okay, one bomb is not enough. Here, I'll leave a gift for you. Oh, yeah, you have to do something. No, no, no. Kaboom. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, if you press the number keys, you'll pull out the weapons. So yeah, like 
this is like a part finder bomb handgun or a pistol shotgun like an m like basically like an m16 it's a machine gun grenade c4 and the c4 um detonator but that's not all you can have an rpg <laughs> ah. X-ray glasses. Wear on your head to use. No thanks, I don't want to. You can have a mannequin. This can only be used in sandbox mode. What is that? I don't understand. I think that's the like sandbox like computer where you can add objects. But yeah. Classic bomb. <laughs> Oh, it's the assault rifle. It's a machine gun. Well, okay, whatever. But yeah, there's more. Like, you thought that was the only weapons? There's an RPG. <laughs> oh, let's, let's shoot the table with the RPG. Ready for this, guys? It's gonna get crazy. Here we go. We have to get a good view, though. Okay, let's do this. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> Boom! Oh! What? What was that? Oh, man. Something broke the glass. Cob! Boom! So yeah, you can have the slow motion effect. So let's restart. And yeah, okay, I was gonna do the, the thing I was gonna do with the bombs. So yes, if you like drop the bomb and hit the number with the bomb, you can put like many more bombs in it. Ready, here we go. Oh, boom! Oh, God, boom goes the bombs! <laughs> okay. That was insane. But still not enough. Still not enough. We have to put grenades in there now. You want grenades? You want grenades? Well, here you go. Here's a present. Okay, get ready. There you go. Kaboom! <laughs> the grenades are flying all over the place now. Kaboom. Okay, let's move on to the next item then, which is the the lamp. Okay, let's disassemble that. All right, so here's our lamp. If it was white, then it will be the Luxo lamp from Pixar. <laughs> but no. And you can turn it off too. Yeah. Isn't that cool? But it's not cool. You know why? Because this bulb has stopped working. So get out of here. I just broke it. My bad. <laughs> okay, well, since I broke uh, like I broke the light bulb, I'll just take off that. Whee! There you go. And then, oh, we can't take that off? Why? What, why can't we take that off? What's holding it? Oh, it's this. You guys heard that, right? Why did you have to use something for a car to take that off? It's a nut. Why do you use a car, like a, yes, a, like, car 
Um, basically, yeah, that's... You heard what I used to take that off. Why did I use something that's for a car? Yeah, go away. Oh, I can't take that off again? Why? What's holding it? Oh, it's this. Go, get off. Uh, get off. Thank you. Now, just go away. Okay. I'm surprised these little parts don't um, break the window. If they did, that would be just messed up. But yay, I got that off now. Good. Now it's time to get these screws off. Because they are still screwing around. And they don't look like screws. Just looking at them. Yeah, they, they don't look like screws. Okay, you get off. And you get off. Oh. <laughs> well, there goes that part. Just here. Okay, you. You go through the window, okay? Ready? You're gonna go through the window. <gasps> Wee! You're supposed to go through the window, not break it. Seriously. Well, okay. Let's keep on disassembling. Take that away. And take that away. Are you guys enjoying the video so far? <laughs> yeah. Take that off and... Okay, it's a good thing that fell off because... Yeah, if it... If it stayed up there... Logic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I can take this off. That was like right in my face. Okay, um... Yeah, there's a lot of screws. Get off! Oh, there goes the springs. You come off. Okay. You. Oh, come on. I have to select it. There we go. And then this one. You go away. You go away. And then you go fly. And you go. Eh. There we go. That's much easier. How is this? Okay, this is the power cord for the light bulb. But. Shouldn't it be going... Because, yeah, that's... That's not... That's not right. Okay, let's keep on getting these screws, because there's still more of them. Go away. Okay, there's still three left. So, get this one. And get this one. There we go. And get the final one. And... Yay, two more springs just came off. And then we go... Oh, now the cord falls? Okay. And one more part. One more part. And it's just this. Because if we just move it away from the ground... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Woohoo! Disassembled a desk lamp. Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, my score is 17,662, which is not bad. My high score is 20,050, so yeah. But okay, now it's time to say to the lamp to say your prayers. You have to say your prayers. But first, we have to take out the light bulb. And go. Oh, I broke it. Dang it. I didn't mean to break it. One second, guys. One second. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I broke it again. Oh, I keep on breaking the light bulb. Uh, seriously. Come here. Yeah, you. Uh, I keep on breaking it. Uh, seriously. By the slightest hit on something, it breaks. See, watch this, guys. Ready? Ready? 
See, it broke. It broke from lightly tapping the head of the lamp. <sighs> okay, this time, I'm sure that I won't break it. I gotta be careful. Uh... Ah! Seriously, stop breaking the light bulb. Okay, this time, I'm sure. Okay, gotta be careful. I meant to let go. I meant to let go. <laughs> because if I do the, um, like the right click, it moves me around. So it, like, basically lets go of what am I, I holding. So, okay, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Okay, you just have to move this light up here okay no 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 well I meant to do that I was planning to go to a big height and drop the light well okay now it's time to say to this lamp to say your prayers I got a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it any last words <laughs> okay, so the head of the lamp did shatter the windshield, the, not the windshield, I mean the, um, the, um, window, okay, but, you okay there? Okay, um, put the gun away. Um, yeah, um, I'm terribly sorry about your, your head, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's quite the texture for damage, but okay, that was crazy. Okay, let's, let's pull out the shotgun again and go, boom, oh, I missed. Oh, I'm just... Come on. Uh. Say your prayers. Uh, 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 uh. My work here is not done. There's still parts. Ah, blah, 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 blah. But it's still holding together. Oh, it's the screws. The screws right here. There we go. It's crazy how I can shoot a shotgun so fast. Who is playing with the glass? It sounds like someone with glass dishes throwing them and shattering them. Okay then. Okay. Now what's next? Ah, ah yes, the bomb. You want bombs? You want bombs? Then take it. Boom! Uh, wait, what? The lamp is immune to bombs? That's not right. So, you're immune to bombs, huh? Well, you're in for a real treat. Bombs away, buddy. <laughs> There's like 10 bombs right there. This lamp better blow up. Get ready. Are you? What is up with this lamp? Even the table is immune to it. Okay, if that's not enough, then C4. C4, 
What for? To blow you up. Get ready to die, Mr. Lamp. Because this is the last time you'll live from bombs. Okay. No. Okay, the the table is now collapsing now. But the lamp The lamp is still alive even from C4. Well, what if I told you, Mr. Lamp, that you will have not C4. You'll have grenades. So, hope you like grenades. Okay, I think that's enough. There we go. There's like 15 grenades. So this lamp can't survive that. Say goodnight, Mr. Lamp. Goodbye. Okay, good. I'm glad that the lamp got parts to, like, get decreased parts from that. But he's still alive. You alive yet? Yeah. Just go away. Boom! What's still alive and Okay, so I had 11 parts left and... What? I don't understand. Okay, let's do one more restart. I got an idea. I got an idea that will be extremely explosive, but it's worth it. Okay, so I have to rapid click for the C4. Yeah, you can set a timer for the C4. Just wanted to let you guys know. Because, like, if you want to set for the highest time possible... Uh... Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. You can set this C4 timer for... Uh... Yeah, like, for an hour, actually. So, yeah. But I'm not gonna set it off. Because you know why? Because there's another C4 right here that will explode immediately. So that timer won't go. Okay, so place one there. Place one here. So yes, as you guys can see, I'm covering the desk with C4. I'm sure that the lamp won't survive this there's no way no way Jose no way do you feel lucky yet mr. lamp I don't think you feel lucky from this because there's no way you can survive this no if you can survive a bomb I'm pretty sure you won't survive this because this this is c4 you know what c4 is made out of me neither but I know that it's highly explosive material, so you gotta beware, Mr. Lamp. Yeah, look at this, guys. This is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous! Okay, there we go. Uh, I have to move over here for this one. There we go. Okay, whoops, didn't mean to pull that out yet, so I think the desk is pretty well covered with C4 now. Yeah, there we go. And just one more right there. Oh yeah, this lamp, this lamp can't survive this, there's no way. So let's just slow time like right here and get ready for the biggest boom. Well, not the biggest, but like basically if you place a lot of C4, 
Yeah, that's going to be the biggest boom. But, okay, you know what? I'm not going to do the detonator. I should shoot at it. Okay. Let's do this. Hey, Mr. Lamp. I got one question for you. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <gasps> Kaboom goes the C4. Wait. Wait. No. There's no way you survive that. You... Die! You're a zombie to me! Why are you immune to these things? There's still nine parts. Where are they? I will look for them. I will look for them. I will find them. And I'll shoot them! Where are they? If the gun doesn't help, a shotgun... I had to shot... I had to shoot the head to get the nine parts gone? Okay. And that bullet <laughs> just landed so perfectly. <sighs> okay. One more. One more. And I'm guaranteed that this, this lamp can't survive this. Okay. C4. A lot of C4. Yeah. The lamp can't survive this one now. You see this, Mr. Lamp? If you survive through this, I don't know what I'm going to do for you. I'm not going to cover the whole desk because that will be like completely laggy, but I'm pretty sure that I placed about 50 C4 now. Okay, just five more. I'm gonna place one on the head. I'm gonna place one on the neck. I'm gonna place one on the body. No, on the body. There we go. And on the feet. Well, I should say foot. And one. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just place this one right where the light is beaming on. Okay, I know for a fact that you can't survive this. <laughs> Look at all of the C4 guys. Oh, there's no way that the lamp can't, like, survive this. There's no way. Okay, and I know if you, like, shoot, like, by the C4, the like C4 sticks like break apart. If I just like, or you know what? Instead of a gun shooting at it, I'm gonna throw a grenade at it. Okay. Say good night, Mr. Light, or should I say Mr. Lamp? Got a good good view from this. It didn't, it didn't even blow up the C4. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm going to throw a grenade right here then. Okay, here we go. Get ready for the biggest boom ever happened to you, Mr. Lamp. You can't survive this. I'm pretty sure. Oh!
Boom! Holy cow. There is still ten parts. What? Oh, man. Look at all of this debris. How is the lamp still able to just, okay, the, these two C4 didn't even go. Are you kidding me? And the C4 on the head didn't even go. Yeah, that's right. That is right. Boom. My work here is done. I still don't understand how the lamp survives that. Uh uh. Seriously, the the remaining the remaining parts were on the head. What? Something's telling me that's a bug. But okay, so I guess that concludes this first part of disassembly 3d and yeah i hope you guys keep gaming and i'll see you guys again on a, another video so yes if you guys want the two more parts of disassembly 3d then let me know because yeah i'm pretty sure that i'll make them without you guys commenting but i'll be mostly appreciated if you did so i can know from like basically my subscribers but okay i'll see you guys again on another video so that was disassembly 3d ultimate stereoopic destruction and see you later guys keep gaming